It's Sunday morning and I'm at the loom again. The light's kind of bad because it's heavy behind me and not much in front, but not much I can do about that at the moment. Um, I'm very close to the end. If you look on this bobbin, I'm hoping you can see that there's thread here and there's white bobbin there. And you may notice that that is not the same color thread that I was winding on the bobbin on the last video. That's because I underestimated and ran out of that color but had almost a yard of warp, I would guess, uh, left and wasn't about to waste all that warp so I grabbed uh, a different color, looked at all the colors I had of the same type of thread and picked the one that I thought would go best and finishing off this piece with a different color warp. And since it's going to be a sewing project for Judy I'm thinking that uh, what will happen here is that uh, she'll use that as a, as a contrasting color, uh, as kind of an emphasis type thing of whatever she makes. So let's get on with the last bit of weaving, the last one or two throws. I will add a little bit more light. So here we go. Last couple of throws. Alrighty, we're about done there. That thread made it that far across. Right to about there. We are done. Before I uh, cut this off, and I want to show you that. I want to take the camera around the back of the loom. Here I am at the back of the loom. And um, I hope you can see right here there's the where I've tied on way back at the beginning and my warp threads here I'm only about six or seven inches from the back of the heddles and there's very little more that I could have woven anyways even if I hadn't run out of thread in that particular bobbin so I'm only going to have probably a little over a foot maybe 15 inches of loom waste on this end and uh, that's one of the things I really like about this Loue loom is that um, I can get this close only like I say six or seven inches of loom waste on the back and then coming around to the front you can see that there's about the same amount at the front of the heddles and then the, the depth of the heddles of course which is that much so let me put the uh, camera back on the tripod and show you the next step. Okay, here's the next step in the process. Handy dandy cutting implement, a scissors. And we need to take this off of the loom, so I'm going to cut it just into the warp beyond where I've sewn. I can imagine people thinking, my goodness, he's cutting all his work. Well, I'm not really. I just plain expect it to end like this. So there we are. We'll take the break off. And now you can see this. And what I'm going to do is just... Um, Grab one of the lee sticks and just use it to wrap all of this onto to take it off of the loom. Then what I'll do, here you can see where I changed colors at the warp, or the weft, I mean, because I'd run out. So that's the end of my blue and the end of my red. And I'm going to go in and use Judy's sewing machine and just tack down the ends so that um, 
I can uh, throw it all in the sewing or the, the washing machine and just get the sizing and stuff out of it and Okay, there we are at the other end, and again we're going to just cut this off. there I have it. Um, I'll roll it out in a minute and see if I can show you a picture of it sitting maybe on the living room <coughs> floor or something so you get an idea of the size okay, so of this here, piece. Let's take a walk down the piece of cloth. I just rolled it out on the floor. I'll show you what we've got. So it's about a yard wide and I've got 35 inches of this reddish color in length that's this way and then down there the length is two and two-thirds yards actually it's two yards 25 inches but that's close enough for government work so that's what uh, the cloth looks like coming straight off the loom. I've uh, used the sewing machine. Oh, I've got an inspector. Look at that. She has to inspect anything. Um, use the sewing machine. Just put a, a, a simple stitch at each end so it doesn't unravel. And we're going to throw it in the wash machine. And then it um, goes to Judy for sewing in whatever way she wants. So that's it. That's the latest weaving project and now you see what it is going to end up looking like as far as a piece of cloth. Thanks for watching and again if you like my videos I would um, appreciate if uh, you would subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.